널 만난 건 해군이야. South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. Officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details. South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital, Seoul. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's centred on detecting a protein linked with the disease. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. Officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details. South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. Officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details. South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. Officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details. South Korea says... South Korea says... South Korea says... North Korean hackers have attacked North Korean hackers have attacked North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the south this year almost 900 foreign policy experts in the south this year almost 900 foreign policy experts in the south this year South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the south this year South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. Officials said, officials said, officials said, that the hackers used phishing email, that the hackers used phishing email, that the hackers used phishing email to trick their victims into divulging their login details to trick their victims into divulging their login details to trick their victims into divulging their login details officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital, Seoul. South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital, Seoul. South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital, Seoul. South Korea says... South Korea says... South Korea says... It scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters... It scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters... It scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones to shoot down several unmanned drones to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea flown into its airspace by North Korea flown into its airspace by North Korea South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. One of them was reported. One of them was reported.
One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital Seoul. To have flown close to the capital Seoul. To have flown close to the capital Seoul. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital Seoul. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital Seoul. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital Seoul. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required. That all men will be required. That all men will be required. To serve in the military for one year. To serve in the military for one year. To serve in the military for one year. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. She said. She said. She said. The current compulsory period of four months was inadequate. The current compulsory period of four months was inadequate. The current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. To meet the growing military pressure from China. To meet the growing military pressure from China. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's centered on detecting a protein linked with the disease. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's centered on detecting a protein linked with the disease. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's centered on detecting a protein linked with the disease. American scientists are involved in a study. American scientists are involved in a study. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test. To develop a reliable blood test. To develop a reliable blood test. To diagnose Alzheimer's disease. To diagnose Alzheimer's disease. To diagnose Alzheimer's disease. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's centered. It's centered. It's centered. On detecting a protein. On detecting a protein. On detecting a protein. Linked with the disease. Linked with the disease. Linked with the disease. It's centered on detecting a protein linked with the disease. It's centered on detecting a protein linked with the disease. It's centered on detecting a protein linked with the disease. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. 
The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response. Towards visitors from China. Towards visitors from China. Towards visitors from China. After Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions. After Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions. After Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions. Despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, some countries, including the United States and Japan, some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing. On arrival, on arrival, on arrival. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival. South Korea says North Korean hackers have attacked almost 900 foreign policy experts in the South this year. Officials said the hackers used phishing emails to trick their victims into divulging their login details. South Korea says it scrambled fighter jets and attack helicopters to shoot down several unmanned drones flown into its airspace by North Korea. One of them was reported to have flown close to the capital, Seoul. Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has announced that all men will be required to serve in the military for one year. She said the current compulsory period of four months was inadequate to meet the growing military pressure from China. American scientists are involved in a study to develop a reliable blood test to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's centred on detecting a protein linked with the disease. The European Union will today seek a coordinated response towards visitors from China after Beijing eased foreign travel restrictions despite a surge in COVID-19 cases. Some countries, including the United States and Japan, are imposing mandatory coronavirus testing on arrival.